Hey guys, look fuck here and welcome to another FIFA 20 player review and today guys between the 89 rated UEFA Champions League team of the group stage, Raheem Sterling of Manchester City. This card does look really good. I was able to pick him up as well for 245,000 coins in the five games that I played. Maybe scored me two goals and got me two assists and he does also have a free to big foot as well as four star skill moves. Moving along to his stats, his main standout stats are going to be his 93 positioning, his 95 agility as well as his 95 balance and finally his 90 reactions and it did also have the uh, Maestro Kemp chemistry style applied to this Raheem Sterling card and interestingly he looks very similar um, to the 89 player moments Di Maria SPC that we got yesterday I did actually do a review on that Di Maria card as well that video is up on the channel and uh, for the most part I did enjoy Di Maria I thought his weak foot was obviously a bit of an issue but apart from that I thought it was a solid card Sterling the benefit of him is he does have a better weak foot he's got three star weak foot which still isn't great but obviously it's a lot better than the two star weak foot um, obviously Di Maria's got five star skill moves Sterling's only got four star skill moves but in terms of like pace, dribbling, shooting, passing, they're pretty similar. I think Di Maria has got a lot better physical, but apart from that, there's actually not that much to separate the two cards in terms of stats. And obviously, yeah, Di Maria is like 120k through the SBC. Obviously, that's untradeable though. Raheem Sterling off the market is about 235, 240,000 coins. Uh, but of course, is a tradable card when you can sell whenever you want. And uh, my honest opinion of this card is, um, I thought he played very similar to, to Di Maria. I think um, in terms of height as well, I think actually Sterling might be a little bit smaller than Dean Rear, but um, yeah, they're very similar players, and Anna could notice that in-game, to be honest, um, but I thought he did a good job for the most part, but yeah, for me, his first pro will be his dribbling, four-star skill, which is obviously very nice, and um, his overall dribbling, as good as I was, you know, I was happy with the dribbling of Dean Maria, but I think uh, Sterling's dribbling feels slightly even better, for example, he's got 15 better balance than uh, Angel Di Maria's card, he's got 95 balance, 95 agility, that agility goes up to 99 as well with that Maestro Chem style, his uh, reactions go to 94, his ball control goes into the 90s, his dribbling goes to 98, using the fake shots with this card was so effective and being able to get um, down that left-hand side and then cut again to the, you know, in, into the into the box and stuff like that, but um, yeah, he was a defender's nightmare when it came to his dribbling and, and combining that with his good pace as well, it was just a fantastic quality to the cards, it really, really was. But um, again, something that I'd already seen in Di Maria yesterday when I reviewed him as well. But um, yeah, dribbling couldn't fault. That was really good. His second pro as well will also be his pace. Fantastic all-round pace stats and actually similar stamina to Di Maria. One extra stamina, 81 stamina. And it's, um, yeah, it's pretty much the same case. You can't necessarily pace abuse with that, you know, with Sterling throughout the whole 90 minutes. If you do that, he will struggle towards the back end, like the back 15, 20 minutes of a match, which is obviously something that you don't want. Having said that, you can quite easily... Um, can serve his stamina throughout the whole match and still be able to like do some you know short burst runs of him down the left hand side but it's just that if you constantly do it throughout the whole game you know giving the ball to him or whatever um, or having that as your main focus attack going on the left hand side then yes he will get really tired really quickly but you know if if you're making sure that all the players on your team like down the right hand side and down the left hand side and using a mixture of the two and um, then he won't get that tired and you can easily conserve his stamina throughout the whole 90 minutes so yeah on the whole though pace really good he can now pace pretty much most fullbacks, most centre backs, it is another nice asset to the card. And his final pro as well will also be his passing. In my opinion, he wasn't looking not to get more than the two assists in the five games. I thought his vision and short passing were very good. 70 long passing isn't the best, and that goes up to 74 with the Maestro Chem style. Because I'm using him as a left midfielder, I might have to change the Chem style to increase that long passing a little bit more. Having said that, he did provide one really good long pass to Jamie Vardy, and Vardy um, was unlucky not to be able to, uh, to score on one of those chances. I think that's one of the last highlights in the video that you see that where he provides like a nice lobbed long ball over to Jamie Vardy but um, yeah his short passing and vision are absolutely fantastic but of course uh, if you're using him as a left forward or a left winger then his long passing wouldn't really matter but because I'm using him as a left midfielder um I'm not even keeping him actually, so I don't know why I'm saying I'd put a chem style to increase. But if you're going to use him as a left midfielder, I'd recommend putting a chem style that further increases his long passing than what the Maestro chemistry style does. But um, yeah, you know, on the whole, it, it is a really good card. I want, I want to touch on the shooting as well. In my opinion, there aren't any major concerns or any real negatives to the card. Shooting wise, though, I was slightly disappointed. I mean, his shot power and long shots aren't great at all. Um, to be fair, the Maestro chem style does take those, uh, those does take those stats into the mid 80s, but even so, I still didn't think they were that good. Um, 85 finish. 93 positioning, I mean, yeah, 85 finishing is fantastic on paper, but yeah, in game, um, you know, he was testing goalkeepers and stuff, I don't know if it was maybe because it was him as a left midfielder that it was it meant that he was going to get less goals, and at the end of the day, two, you know, two goals from a left midfielder in five games isn't the worst return, I think if I was using him as a left winger or as a left forward, he probably would have got me more goals just because, you know, he's even further up the pitch than what a left midfielder is, but um, yeah, on the whole, I think he's a decent card, in terms of, you know, comparing him though to, to Di Maria, in terms of the cards I prefer, I personally do prefer Di Maria, but I still 
still think Sterling is a decent card to go for in the Premier League. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.